to play the music. It's time to light the lights. It's time to meet the Muppets on the Muppet Show tonight. Boom, boom, boom. Yes, I hope that I've got a full set of the Muppets minifigures. I have been out at Kmart feeling the little bags and having people look at me weirdly and me avoiding eye contact like really seriously. But I think that I might have a full set. We're going to find out today. And I have got the Lego Friends, the theatre, which I have just been, I mean, it's no surprise that this is going to be really good for the Muppets, like a Muppet display. So here on the stage, I've got a little bit of a setup for Kermit for his... Uh, Rainbow Connection song, which is just a compilation of different stuff from different sets. I've just kind of pulled them apart. I've changed over the pink balcony seats to red balcony seats because that is more appropriate for the color scheme for the for a theatre, really. And I did not have enough of those. I just didn't have enough pieces to actually do the same thing with the pink ones that are the seats down on the ground level. So I've actually taken some seats out of the movie theatre. No, the cinema. The cinema. Out of the Lego Friends cinema. And I've made a brown piano for Ralph. Ralph the dog. So uh, I'm ready. We're ready to rock the Muppet Show. Let's find out what have we got inside the first bag. I'm so nervous because actually I'm, I, I feel as though I'm pretty good at feeling what's in these bags, but it can go wrong. So look at this. It's Chef. It's the Swedish Chef. So this is because this is the first one. This is speaking because this is the first one. We're gonna have a look at the. Oh, look at our choices. Look, there he is. There's a Swedish chef. So, <laughs> let's put him together. Oh, birdie, 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 birdie. Oh, this is so fun. Oh my goodness. This is just nostalgia insanity. His head is amazing. Look at those juby lips. Look at the, oh, look at, just all the detail is just insane. So he has got a little tomato, his tomato Muppet friend and he's got a whisk as well so in the bag comes with two whisks which is handy because they're there's something that we can find is loose all right so we have got the Swedish chef next up next bag I mean I'll be I'll just die if I don't have Kermit what if I got this bag filling thing wrong this one's I mean this is almost as important as Kermit it's Miss Piggy so Miss Piggy has got a sparkly pink dress oh look at those shiny bracelets I just love the printing that's going on in her headpiece. It's just so detailed, so many curls. Oh, the bracelets though, wow. And she, for her accessory, she's got a magazine with Miss Biggie on the cover. I mean, I assume it's a magazine because it's got a barcode down the bottom, so. Is this something that's from, it's, it's actually her pictured in the outfit that she's wearing right now. So she's gonna go up into one of the balcony boxes because Kermit's gonna be on the stage and she's gonna keep an eye on him. Let's put this back on here. I reckon there's actually enough room just to slide the accessory right down in front of her feet. Except I can't turn her head, so she's gonna have to look straight ahead. That's a bit of a flaw. <laughs> Next one, is it Kermie? I don't know. I mean, we have 12 choices here. Oh, oh, awesome. So this is one of the cantankerous old heckler men. So this one is Waldorf and he's the one in the brown suit. He's actually got the little legs, the little bendy legs. Oh, wow. I'm blown away by these headpieces. Of course, I'll be able to angle his head to check out what's going on in the stage. And he's got a teacup with the saucer piece, which we haven't seen since oh, the little Harry Potter minifigures. And also a placard with, with sleepy, sleepy snores on it. And there's another teacup and saucer included as well. That's really generous, Lego. Thank you. So he's going up here in the balcony seats. I've just dropped his, oh, you know, I reckon I can put his teacup on the side table. Well, sorry, this side balcony. I've <laughs> knocked it off anyway. I just would need to put a stud underneath it, I think, to be able to raise it up enough. So let's just have him hold it. But he does, he's full of accessories. Let's give him his placard. He can't really hold it. We're just going to balance it precariously on the balcony edge. Now we can tuck it in. <gasps> Perfect. Now we just got to get his partner in crime. <laughs> it's going to look so good. Okay. Next one. Oh my goodness. I'm just, this is so exciting. I, I did not realize how much nostalgia I had about the muffins. So this is Animal and the detail printing on his Wow. On his torso and on his leg pieces are amazing. His face piece is really great too. His, look at his eyes. They printed white on top of the black eyebrow underneath eye things. And he hasn't 
there's not enough layer of white, I don't think, because so his eyes kind of look kind of grayish, which is a shame, but apart from that, looks really great. He's got a couple of wands which turn into drumsticks if I can get them in his hands, which I just struggle with so much. Uh, yeah, his eyes just look, they're just a bit off, but he also has got, he's got his drum kit, and there are so many pieces here to put together for this drum kit, so that's fantastic, printed the drum the, the bass, drum, <laughs> bass drum emblem. Oh, so he's got his Dr. Teeth and the Electric Mayhem logo for the bass drum. I'm trying to put this on upside down. So this bit goes out oh, doesn't, facing that way. And that's on the top. And it's all just precariously balanced on one little grey stud. And we've got, got a got a hi-hat or a little cymbal. And we've got a snare drum as well. And a couple of extra pieces. That looks amazing, but it's really hard to balance. I'm trying to have it. Oh, let's just put let's put it on the display. The display black bit. Oh, now I'm knocking the knocking the symbol off. This is not meant to be. There we go. Alright. No, hold on. No. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm just gonna just gonna put it here and not touch it again. Thanks. Okay, now let's put him over in front of the stage. I really, really want to build an orchestra pit for this theatre, so I'm going to have to get myself into action and do that. It shouldn't be too tricky, but we'll put some people in the orchestra pit, some mummers in the orchestra pit, as they would be for their vaudeville show. Oh, lucky! It's the guy who bullies Beaker. <laughs> Poor old Beaker. Beaker's in there too. He's one of these series that's so exciting. So there's Dr. Bunsen Honeydew with his head that is scrubby on the back, his honeydew melon head. And he's got a, just a pink flask, a Bunsen, no, not a Bunsen banner, a, be a beaker. Speaking of beakers, we're going to have him soon. Hopefully, maybe he'll be in this bag. <laughs> There's so many good characters in this. No, it's not beaker, it's someone, I mean, just as good. So this is Fuzzy. Is Fuzzy the bear? I was actually just looking at Muppet Show clips the other day and I'd never noticed when I was younger how much his fur, Fuzzy the bear's fur, looked like a really well-loved kid's stuffy. And it's so, like, it's beautiful. So Fuzzy is the stand-up comedian and he tells terrible jokes. He's got a banana because that is a reference to the banana sketch, which Kermit had never heard of. Never heard of the banana sketch. And it's a yellow banana because apparently they're more funny. <laughs> And he's got a microphone for his stand-up routine about the banana, the banana sketch, which you never heard of. That's fantastic, and they never actually tell it. Oh, all right, let's put him on the stage. Let's take, you have to take off my preset scenery here. So strike the clouds, strike the rainforest a little bit by the creek. Let's put Fuzzy the Bear on here and his microphone too, and he can hold the crowd or be heckled, <laughs> heckled by Waldorf by himself until we, till we get... Kermit, then we can put Kermit on the stage. <gasps> now Waldorf's got his companion in crime. Now he has got Statler. So Statler has got a dark blue suit. He's got the tall legs, whereas Waldorf's got the littler legs, which is cute, which means they've got different stature. Statler. <laughs> Statler has different stature. He's got his bum chin, which is just so perfect. He also has as an accessory a laptop computer with scooter on it. It's like they're messaging back and forth. Is it? I don't understand the computer, the laptop, because I can't even imagine the cranky old men even using computers or even knowing how to use computers. So I'm imagining it's just staring at this going, I don't understand. What does the green button do? Like just peering at it. I wonder if I can angle him. I'd have to put him on here going, I don't know. Why does it keep telling me to do stuff? <laughs> That's what it looks like to me. Let's put him up here in the balcony box where he belongs with his weird laptop computer. I'm sure somebody... I'm sure one of you guys actually know why he has got a computer. It, it must have a reference to something, but I don't know. So let's put him up here. He can't turn his head too far because of his enormous bum chin, but he he looks it looks pretty good. Just love the little smile, the little smile on uh, on Waldorf. It's just they just are so perfect. I cannot put this there. I think that's good now. That's good. Everything is precariously balanced up there in the balcony seats. Let's not touch it. Let's find out who we have in the next bag. Oh my god, it's Kermie! It's Kermit ready to sing the Rainbow Connection. Why are there so many songs about rainbows and what's on the other side? Oh, Kermit. 
Oh, he's adorable. I mean, how could you not love this floppy frog fella? It's just a shame he can't cross his legs because he's always crossed, his legs crossed. But he's got a banjo as one of his accessories to sing in the Rainbow Connection. I mean, this is obviously all themed over to the Rainbow Connection song and that little, that little uh, skit. But I'm going to put his rainbow itself in the scenery on the stage, in the clouds. So strike Fonzie, Fonzie strike Fuzzy, and let's put back in our woodland scene, which is actually one of the Lego friends, the little waterfall set, and the log on the front is out of the Pooh Bear, the Winnie the Pooh set. So I've just stolen different stuff. Look at him, he's so cute. See, I just want his little cross legs though. They're supposed to be little cross legs. Oh my gosh, this is so much fun. All right, next one. Let's see, I mean, we've got Kermit Kermit now. Ooh. Oh, I forgot about Rolf. 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 I even made him a piano in preparation. I can't believe I forgot about him. So Rolf is, you know, a big fluffy furry dog with the big flappy ears. How good is that? You can even, you can turn his head too. He's got quite a good amount of mobility with his head. But his accessories are amazing. So here is the piano. This piano is actually the design from the Assembly Square set. Uh, but it was in black for that. I've just rebuilt it in brown. Because that's more like an old timey piano. And this sheet music is actually Sonata Number no. 8 Pathetic Second Movement by Beethoven. And the printing on that is so tiny and I cannot get it to stand the piano because I set up the piano incorrectly for this. And he's also got, I'll fix that. He's also got a bust of Beethoven with two different face like an alternate face choice so a contented listening face and the classic quite severe Beethoven look which is oh, God, this is he, he has the best accessories of them all look at the detail in that printing on his sheet music so I'm just gonna fix this piano and now it's actually back to the way it originally was designed with a little slant down the bottom and that will sit Oh, hold on. <laughs> that should sit his music nicely. Oh my gosh. Kind of, as long as I don't bump it too much. I have to figure out a way to make that a bit more secure. Oh my gosh. Let's put this down in front of the front of the uh, the stage. And I, 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 yeah, orchestra pit. We need one. So next, next up, minifigure. We've got so many plans for this theater. This is uh, this is an unlikely character. I mean. Uh, I don't know who I would have chosen in her place, but it's Janice. So Janice is one of the, she's one of the band and she, I mean, she's got great printing. She's got a hippie wild child, flower child look. It just is all so beautifully denoted. And she's got a, the guitar in a new color, in a recolor. So she, she can't turn her head though, because her hair's really quite strongly, oh, positioned around her shoulders. I just realized it could Kermit his banjo in the wrong hand. Unless it was all strung for a left hander. Let's uh let's set it up the way that it should be. There we go, Kermit. Now back on your log and sing me a song. Look at him. Okay, so we've got Janice and she can join Animal over here, two members of the band. Okay, how many we got left? <laughs> I feel as though we have so many good ones already. We've got, oh no, how could I have forgotten Gonzo? Gonzo's got fantastic, like a fantastic outfit. The level of printing on this is just next level. <laughs> this is next level printing. It's got his chili shirt, his leather tie with his detailed dots on it, amazing. And his head with his big proboscis, his enormous hook nose is just insanely good. And he's got his chicken, Camilla. So <laughs> the printing on it is so cute. <laughs> I feel as though I need to build him a cannon to fire him out on or or, or fire him out of or, or get him a whole like flock of chickens that he can hypnotize or fail to hypnotize. That would be so fun. There's so many ideas to come with these Muppet minifigures. Oh my goodness. What else do we have? Uh, I'm sure he's everybody's favorite because we just feel so sorry for him. So his head is amazing. Look at that sharp cut for his bottom, for the bottom part of his mouth. And his ping pong ball eyes is, oh no, yeah, he's, he's a fantastic minifigure. And he's got a walkie talkie kind of device, but it looks like it's you know, something that's going to, about to start an experiment that's going to cause him to explode. Poor Beaker. Me, 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 me. Let's put him over next to Dr. Bunsen Honeydew, who does not care for him, doesn't look after him properly. Well, I think that is it. I cannot believe how much 
much fun that was. I had forgotten how much I loved the Muppets. Oh my goodness. And to have a theatre that you can actually pop them into without, with only needing a few alterations is pretty amazing. I don't know whether Lego deliberately timed it like that with the releases of their sets. I don't know that they did, but it's worked out really fortuitously. All right, let me know in the comments which Muppet minifigure is your absolute favourite, if you could even choose one. And check back in because there'll be more videos coming up. <laughs> I'll see you again soon. Bye.